Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another video for March Madness. If you guys are curious about workouts and how many calories you actually burn, I'm going to be taking a photo that I found from the internet that says that this workout burns 100 calories and I'm going to be testing the theory. So if you guys don't know this already, I have a Polar Watch. This one is the V800. Um, they have a few different options. I will link them down below for you guys if you guys are ever curious. Um, when I started my journey, I was always using the machines to get my like calorie reading of like how many calories I've actually burned and they're so inaccurate half the time. So this is like the most accurate thing I can get and it's like simple, easy, and effective. So with that being said, we're gonna be testing this 100 calorie theory and today we're going to be trying out a workout. This is the watch. It comes with a Bluetooth um, heart rate monitor band. So the back of it, we have to go and wet in the bathroom, throw it on right here, and then track the workout. So it's a really quick workout, honestly. Um, I'm not saying that it won't burn 100 calories, but we're gonna see, does it really burn 100? My guess is that it doesn't, but we're gonna see. So for this one, if you guys like this, give it a like because I'd love to show you guys more of these. You guys can send me specific workouts. This one was specifically sent to me because one of you guys DM me and they're like, hey, like I'm not sure if this actually burns 100 calories. Can you tell me? I feel like I've burned more. So this girl told me that and that kind of gave me the idea to do this. So I figured, hey, let's do it. Let's see, does this workout right here burn 100 calories? So there's 10 moves and it says 100 calories. It is from r3ps.com. So I'm giving credit to them for the workout, but um, it's 100 jumping jacks, 50 squats, 100 jumping jacks, uh, 50 crunches, 100 jumping jacks, 50 mountain climbers, 100 jumping jacks, uh, 50 plie squats, and 100 jumping jacks, and 25 push-ups. So, I just want to mention that first things first, it's like 150, 150, 150, 150, 125. So it's kind of in those increments. Um, there's technically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like not really 10 moves because a lot of them are jumping jacks but there's like five exercises that are different and then the one that you do consistently is the jumping jacks so we're gonna try this out i did not wear the best sports bra and i didn't realize that until just now but like i'll power through it'll be it it'll last we are gonna go throw this bad boy on do the workout and i'll let you guys know my results and like kind of check in with you guys it is currently uh, 310, so we're gonna try and get this done as quick as possible with the highest intensity that I can possibly do. Um, I'm gonna film the whole workout, but like this is at my own pace. This is like my version of the workout. So just remember, the intensity is however hard it is for you. So like, depending on how intense you go, obviously it'll be harder, it'll be easier. Um, the more work you put in, the more work you get out, but at the same time, it depends on like, you know, how high your heart goes and stuff. So if you're keeping your heart rate pretty low, you're not gonna be burning as many calories. So with that being said, we're gonna go and do this workout and um, afterwards I'm gonna let you guys know how many calories I've actually burned. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is put the heart rate monitor on. I'm using the Polar V800. I will have it linked down below for you. And um, you know, if you're interested, but I love this because it tracks your heart rate and it's really accurate. And then I put it on other indoor and I start the recording so then I can start tracking my heart rate. My heart rate starts at like 107 and um, I have a pretty hard, high heart rate as it is as some like normal person. But the first thing that we do exercise wise and I sped everything up was 100 jumping jacks. This one was just super simple. The only thing that I have to say is I did not wear the proper sports bra and it was a struggle you guys. Then I did 50 squats as the little PDF photo thing said and you know I turned so you guys could see different angles and it was a struggle once I hit like 35 it started to get kind of hard just because you are burning out your muscles and you're really getting your heart rate up so at that point I was kind of slowing down but I had to pace myself throughout this entire workout and then I go back and do another 100 jumping jacks which honestly Jumping jacks are great, but they are not the biggest heart rate, like, increaser. So it was one of those situations where I was like, okay, I'm doing this for the video. Then I was doing crunches, and I never hit abs, and I never do crunches or sit-ups or anything like that, and they say to do 50 for the workout. So I did them, and by once I hit, like, 25, <laughs> my abs were burning. 
and you only do one set of these you do the so basically they're the jumping jacks are the hub of the workout and then you have five other exercises so it's one of those situations where it's like every time you do an exercise then you do 100 jumping jacks before or after and um this is one of them so i knew that if i got through this and it was pretty painful at one point then i wouldn't have to do it again then i did the hub which is the 100 jumping jacks and that one started to get pretty tiring and my feet started to hurt because i was pressing and putting a lot of pressure on my feet then um i did mountain climbers you do 50 of these the only thing i have to say is the fact that my mat was really 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 short and I was really, really tired for all the jumping jacks at this point, because at this point I think I did 300 or 400 jumping jacks. Then you go and do another set of the jumping jacks, which is still 100. And for the mountain climbers, I counted them as every one is a set, if that makes sense. So you have to like count one as both legs. Then you do the plie squats. Okay, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really know how to fully do plie squats. I know that you put your feet outwards, but those are also sumo squats, so I probably was doing them wrong, but I was still squatting, and I did 50 of them, so it was still getting my heart rate up the exact same way that the plie squat, plie squat would. Then I did the hub, which was the 100 jumping jacks, and then the last one that I did was 25 push-ups, and I did girl push-ups because this was at the intensity that I could personally do it at. I also don't do push-ups very often. I don't really do any body weight exercises very often, and it opened my eyes to the fact that I really should probably start doing them because it would probably help me out. But as you guys can tell, I don't go very low. In the beginning, I did go pretty low, and it was really awesome, and it was like helpful, but then as I kept doing the workout and like the push-ups, I just kept going higher and higher and higher. So if I were you, I would slow this workout down so you can get it all out of it, but at the same time, do the intensity that you can do yourself. So I did 25 of them, which is what the little photo says, and I had to take some breaks in between, but I got it done. Then I just stopped my heart rate monitor. All right, guys, so I just finished the workout. I took off my shirt, you know, um, but with that being said, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. First things first, I want to go over the results. All right, guys, so I just finished the workout. I'm gonna tell you guys how many calories I burned. I stopped the timer and everything like that. But with that being said, I want you guys to take a second before you guys watch the rest of it, pause or right now scroll down, comment how many calories do you think I actually burned and how many do you think you would burn? Just how many calories do you think it actually burned? With that being said, we're gonna go to the results of this. So we're going to the diary, I think. Yeah, we go to diary. I don't know if you can see it. Click it, and then it has other indoor right here. You guys probably can't see it, honestly. It says, I started at 3.12 p.m. 30 minutes was the workout. The training load was reasonable. Load from the session, blah, blah. And then it says the heart rate zones are on here, so it tells you where the heart rate levels were. Um, only for six seconds it ever hit level five, which is nothing. Um, a lot of the time it was in three, four, and one. And with that being said, my average heart rate was 144, my max heart rate was 181. And what you've been waiting for and wondering, how many calories did I actually burn during this workout? If you guys haven't commented, do that right now. But with that being said, I burned 278 calories they said in that photo that you would burn 100 that is over double what they said you would actually burn i hope this you know gave you guys some insight and you know helped you guys out but with that being said just remember that like not everything you see on the internet is real i'm not saying that their workout wasn't 100 for them but for everyone we all have our own types of workouts and like how many calories we burn for it because the intensity is different so with that being said, you probably will burn over 100 if you give it your all. Don't cheat the reps and just keep your heart rate up. So yeah, I'm kind of out of breath and I can't think because I just worked out, but I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are looking to make your own transformation, don't forget, you guys can totally do that. I have my e-course down below and there's tons of things in there that are gonna help you. There's 10 motivational videos. I'm partnered with Fit Genie for it, so you guys actually get two months free of premium and of the app to track your food. It's way better than my fitness pal. And yeah, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video from March Madness. And if you guys wanna see more of these, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, any workouts specifically, like a link if you guys want me to do a specific one and see how many calories I burned. 
And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.